Our program includes many languages. Please log on to our program schedule for more details. SupremeMasterTV.com forward slash schedule. Le programme comprend des émissions en plusieurs langues. Pour de plus amples informations, consultez SupremeMasterTV.com barre oblique schedule. برنامه های ما شامل زبان های مختلف هستند. لطفا برای اطلاع بیشتر از فهرست برنامه ها به این سایت مراجعه کنید. SupremeMasterTV.com forward slash schedule For example, there is a thing called divine connection line. There is more of thousand, million, billion, trillion, zillions times more powerful than heaven gate, heaven ways, and spiritual blessing lines and uh, spiritual blessing portals. Do you understand this? Wow. Yes. But the divine connection line has a different level. For example, divine co connection line from the four, third level, the fourth level, the fifth level. So it depends on uh, which connection line to which spiritual level the power it depends on that please continue watching to find out more supreme master ching hai's lectures are not a complete meditation instruction please do not try alone for free of charge guidance please visit godsdirectcontact.org or contact any of our centers near you Today's episode will be presented in English with subtitles in Arabic. Oalasi is also known as Vietnamese, Bulgarian, Chinese, Croatian, Czech, English, French, German, Hindi, Hungarian, Indonesian, Italian, Japanese, Korean. Malay, Mongolian, Persian, Polish, Portuguese, Punjabi, Romanian, Russian, Spanish, and Thai. Encantada de ver los exuberantes televidentes. Mi nombre es Nuria. La históricamente rica Honduras te desea un feliz fin de año. Honduras limita con el Mar Caribe al norte y con el Océano Pacífico al sur, que está simbolizado por las franjas de colores de la bandera nacional, una franja central blanca entre dos azules. Durante el primer milenio, Honduras fue habitada por los mayas. Las ruinas mayas de Copán son una de las mejores conservadas y más fascinantes de todos los sitios mayas, declarados Patrimonio de la Humanidad por la Organización de las Naciones Unidas para la Educación, la Ciencia y la Cultura, UNESCO. Su clima varía de tropical en las tierras bajas a templado en las montañas. Es el hogar de una asombrosa cantidad de especies de aves y la segunda barrera de arrecifes más grande del mundo. Junto con impresionantes paisajes submarinos, hermosas islas caribeñas bañadas por el sol, ríos de aguas blancas, lagunas bordeadas de palmeras, montañas cubiertas de selva y parques naturales. La familia es fundamental para la vida cotidiana y la sociedad hondureña y se hace mucho hincapié en la unidad familiar, lo que hace que los ciudadanos hondureños sean amigables, respetuosos y tan acogedores para los visitantes. Es emocionante compartir con ustedes un vislumbre de la anhelante Honduras. Nuestra gente ora a Dios para que los colme de inmensas bendiciones y de gracia celestial.
Durante más de tres décadas, la Maestra Suprema Ching Hai ha iluminado nuestro mundo con sus enseñanzas divinas. Una maestra totalmente iluminada. Ella imparte el método Kuan Yin de meditación a aquellos que desean descubrir inmediatamente la naturaleza de Dios interna y alcanzar en una vida la liberación eterna del ciclo de la transmigración. El método Kuan Yin ha sido practicado por todos los maestros iluminados, tales como Buda, Jesucristo, el profeta Mahoma, la paz sea con él, Guru Nanak y muchos más. Ella enfatiza que si siempre recordamos a Dios, ofrecemos servicio desinteresado a otros y seguimos las leyes del universo, alcanzaremos nuestro potencial más elevado como humanos y comprenderemos verdaderamente nuestro propósito en la tierra. La Maestra Suprema Ching Hai es un extraordinario ejemplo viviente de compasión, enviando frecuentemente asistencia material y financiera, además de amor a los refugiados, a los desamparados, a las víctimas de desastres naturales y a otros que necesitan ayuda. La Maestra Suprema Ching Hai está profundamente agradecida con el amado Dios por toda la ayuda financiera, consuelo y apoyo para los afligidos y necesitados y o oh, cualquier buena causa a través de los años como una humilde receptora para su compasión y amor hacia sus preciados hijos. En el 2006, ella recibió el premio Gucci de la Paz, considerado el premio Nobel de la Paz de Oriente, y ha sido honrada a través de los años con numerosos premios y galardones por sus excepcionales obras filantrópicas y humanitarias. una verdadera voz para nuestros preciosos amigos animales. Ella promueve la pacífica y amorosa dieta a base de plantas y prevé con el despertar de la humanidad hacia lo sagrado de todas las vidas un tranquilo y glorioso mundo, completamente vegano, donde los animales y las personas vivan en dichosa armonía. Sus iniciativas para difundir la tendencia vegana son diversas y han incluido la distribución del volante de vida alternativa, la cadena internacional de restaurantes veganos Loving Hat y Supreme Master Television, además de hablar regularmente con influyentes líderes de gobierno y en medios de comunicación y participar en conferencias televisivas sobre el cambio climático. Tanto si somos conscientes de ello como si no, sus esfuerzos han tenido una enorme influencia sobre la conciencia mundial del estilo de vida amigable con los animales y de cómo esta benévola forma de ser puede traer paz duradera entre las naciones a la vez que salvamos nuestro planeta del cambio climático. A lo largo de los años, la Maestra Suprema Ching Hai ha viajado por todo el mundo, desde las Américas hasta África, desde Europa hasta Oceanía, y ha ofrecido cientos de discursos al público y a sus discípulos sobre una variedad de temas espirituales. Hoy tenemos la bendición de presentar una reveladora teleconferencia titulada Vivir a la altura de los reales seres humanos, parte 4 de 7, en Entre la Maestra y los Discípulos, dada en inglés el 22 de diciembre del 2012 en Los Ángeles, California, Estados Unidos. Master, are there any other secrets of the universe that Master would like to share? Ah, uh, a lot, a lot, a lot. Oh, we'd love to hear them, we'd love to hear them. <laughs> <sighs> But it's not so useful to you here, so I don't know why you need to know in this physical world. It's not useful too much for you. 
What I know is too much to tell you. <laughs> I see. But I don't know, you cannot make use of it. But, but perhaps uh, some examples? Um, I mean, maybe we wouldn't understand uh, even a centimeter of your explanation, but we would still like to hear because it's fascinating to us. Okay, okay, I'll tell you one hey. example, okay? <laughs> Thank you very much, Master. It's very, very kind, okay. deeply kind of you, deeply kind. I only told you up to now what you can make use of, but many things I cannot tell you. For example, there is a thing called divine connection line. There is more of oh, thousand, millions, billion, trillion, zillions times more powerful than heaven gates, heaven ways, and spiritual blessing lines and uh, spiritual blessing portals. Do you understand this? Wow. Yes. But the divine connection line has a different level. For example, divine co connection line from the four, third level, the fourth level, the fifth level. So it depends on the, which connection line to which spiritual level, the power. It depends on that. So if you find this spiritual connection line and sit within it, in the middle of it, but the, the line is very, very narrow. For example, just about like this, okay? Understand? Wow, very small, very small. About the two, two or three palms together, squarely. Uh, not square, but like, more or less like roundly like that. And that is a line called spiritual connection line. Our world is connected with all heaven's world through this spiritual connection line. Even if heaven gaze not there, spiritual line broken, this connection line is not broken until the whole planet is broken. Understand? Yes. Understood, and if you f happen to find this spiritual connection line and sit in it, then you will earn thousandfold, zillionfold more spiritual merit point very fast. Wow. You assimilate the power of it. But you will not be able to find it if your level is only within five realms. And I can't pinpoint it to you even if I want to. Uh, because I will have to be there physically in order to locate it for you, for example, yeah? As yes, the line is very narrow and it has to be exact. Because if you sit like one millimeter far away from it, one millimeter only, then there's no benefit at all. And then, <laughs> on top of that, if you are not allowed to know because of your level, then you will never feel it, nor find it, nor benefit from it, even if you sit right on top of it. Heavens <laughs> are full of wondrous mystery. Even I had to go through one level connection after another, not knowing what next. Sometimes <laughs> I go chasing it. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> <laughs> I have to go chasing it, <laughs> hunting. <laughs> hunting spiritual connection line. And now it's more stable now. I can just do it without having physically going. Wow. Uh, the soul and the body also must be able to withstand this extreme power of the higher world in the physical dimension and have to be able to absorb the power of this dimension of higher and higher dimension. Otherwise, you'll be absorbed or burned out to crisp. Yes. So, as you are gradually gotten used to the higher energy, you will be revealed the next divine connection line and its power, and not before that. Even for me, it's like that. For example, now I'm sitting within the divine connection line that connect me to the one billion spiritual world, for example. Yes then that's the only way I know it. That's the only place I should know, and I'm revealed. If I ask for the next one, there's no, no answer, no possible. Understand? Only when I already am, like, for, for example, graduated already from this spiritual connection, absorbing enough energy and prepare myself, soul, body, and mind enough to absorb the next one, then I will be revealed the next one. Understood, Master. Even if it's just one hair apart from one connection line to the next, I will not be able to, 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 to get it. So, uh, 
That's the way it is. So many other things similar like that. Even if I tell you, you won't be able to use it. So what for, you know, making <laughs> your mind so much uh, uh, burden and so crowded? Oh, but we find it very fascinating, Master. It's, it's just beautiful, inspiring to hear about. Yeah, what do you think how I can negotiate with heavens or with the karmic law if I don't have enough power? All the many masters come and go from the fifth level. It's, it's cannot do much. Understood, Master. Can only help a group of people, of their own disciples. But to leave the whole world and to save the whole planet is, is another matter. All in the universe are connected by these divine connection lines, from the low earthly realm to the highest heavens. It's a wonder network. It's an incredible, intricate pattern of network. It is so wonderful to, to know about it. I'm very happy. Oh, wow. Master, we're, we're, we're touched. Thank you for telling us about these spiritual connection lines. Yes, you're welcome. Okay, you see, many of the secrets of the universe are well guarded. And sometimes, uh, even if you know it, you're not allowed to broadcast it to the world. Yes? So just uh, this one, hey? Okay? Okay. Um, yes, Master. The, I call it DCL, I mean <laughs> Divine Connection Line. The, the, the Divine Connection Line, even, even if I reveal to you, even if I point it out to you where it is, you can't use it. You understand me? Understood, it's so Master. extremely protected, extremely well guarded, that even a saint of the fifth level will not be able to detect it or to make use of it. Uh, so it is very, very, very something that <laughs> something that is not very useful to you. Mm. So, Master, if we may respectfully ask, right now there's just one or there are multiple of the uh, uh, divine connection line on Earth? Yes, a lot. Oh, a lot, a lot. Understood. Mm -hmm. Understood. As always has been and always will be. Just the question is, if you're not aware of it and if you're not allowed to use it, then it's just there to, to connect, you know, like a network, but it's not for you to be able to use it. That's the thing. Understood, Master. Understood. Mm. Master, uh, we, may we respectfully ask, are there any other secrets of the universe you would like to share with us today? At the moment, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, uh, thank you very much. Deeply, deeply thank you very much for, for discussing the uh, Divine Connection Line, Master. You're welcome. I was also very happy to have found it. I was so happy, so elated. Oh, I had to oh, diligently. So much work, so much concentration, so much focus on it, on meditation, in order to finally get it. It's not like I've got it immediately, no, no. Just recently, yes. Not recently, but since, uh, oh, since when? Oh, probably uh, three months ago, more or less. Wow. But after a lot of suffering as well, huh? Yes. But in the beginning, when I first have to assimilate this kind of divine power connection, oh, it was very uncomfortable also for my body. And now I get used to it. It doesn't matter how high, it's okay. It's like nothing. In the beginning, it was so difficult, it was so tiring, so painful also, eh? Mm. And it caused a lot of disturbance in the body and the physical body and all kinds of things happen, disturbing and all kinds of... Uh, uh, bad things happen also because the, 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 the negative power feel uncomfortable also, and it tried to get me. Our deepest gratitude, Master, for that. It's all right. I'm glad. Whatever the price, is always more than worth it. Believe me. <laughs> if you were me, you'd be happy. Oh, yeah, I'm telling you, 
I had to say, it was really fun also. <laughs> it's not so much uh, fun, but it was very, very incredible. You know, sometimes the whole night through, I can't sleep, I don't sleep, I have to chase the one line after another. <laughs> The whole night through. Yes, master. Yes, master. Once I know the next one more powerful, I run. <laughs> no matter how long, how far, I run to it. And then run back again and run to another place and run forth, back and forth. All night, all day long, sometime like that. Uh, if you leave a Rama, you think, oh, she's gone crazy, this master. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> What's she doing? <laughs> I was running like back and forth, back and forth, and up and down, and every different places I, I can go. But now it's more stable. Now I, I understand now. Now I got it. <laughs> I don't have to run physically. Maybe in the future uh, it changed, but right now it's, it's not too bad. I could do it uh, astrally, okay? Wow. <laughs> yeah. Still it's better to do it physically though, you know. <laughs> okay, uh, please, any more questions? Yes. Hi, Master. Thank you for sharing with us. Um, actually, I just have a question about the, the real love musical. Ah. Master, you once told us that if Master was married, um, mm. you would be able to help many more humans. Because more connection. That's more all. connection. Yes. Yes, yes, actually, for me personally, before I also knew about Master's love story, about how you went to the West, uh, married to a German doctor, and then left to seek enlightenment, but I never really felt that connected. Um, but actually, after watching the Real Love musical, which was about Master's love and life story, I felt touched to see how Master was so much in love with your husband and with all the scenes and acting and the songs and the lyrics based on Master's poetry. I could really connect and see that it was truly a real life fairy tale. and. I was um, just amazed to see how Master could have the determination and strength to leave for a noble cause, even though you and your husband were so much, so, so much in love. So I was just wondering, Master, could sharing your love story through the Real Love musical be an, like, an alternative to Master personally getting married to help humanity? It was a long time ago at that yes. time. Right now, mm -hmm. I don't have to, yes? It was not that easy, you know? I cry a lot. I cry a lot when I left him. And the last time also we saw it before I left, I cry a lot, a lot, a lot. I cry not just f not because of me. I feel so sorry for him. I feel so, so very, very sorry for him so much. I cry a lot, a lot. It's not that easy, huh? I, I wonder how I have done it. Uh, I guess uh, heaven also blessed me to have done it, or maybe my destiny, I have to. Yes. Now I don't have to do it. And, uh, and yes, to your question, that musical also would help to help in some way, because it will soften people's heart, just like yours, you see? They, they feel it's the real thing. And so they will be more open to spiritual blessings and or spiritual connection. It helps. Anything helps. <laughs> yes, Master. Thank you, Master. Welcome, love. Hi, Master. Hi. I have a Loving the Silent Tears musical story. Tell me. We would like to thank Master for writing the poetry collection Silent Tears, which has inspired the composer, Al Kasha, to create the musical Loving the Silent Tears. Many of the artists and creative team members and composers shared with us how much they loved Master's poetry in Silent Tears. The stars wow. not only came from diverse cultures, but they've also had different walks of life and religious backgrounds. For example, the Korean star Brian Ju is a devout Christian and Leo Colette is Jewish. Oh. And the artists resonated with Master's poems. For example, the Korean pop star Brian Ju said, I love poems, and to be able to read and hear and to be able to perform her poems and music was phenomenal. I just feel like I can learn a lot from the poetry as well. The audience members that night were also very touched by the poems. For example, one lady who actually presents for BBC in the UK said the following. I got choked up a few times. I got a little bit, a little bit teary. A little bit teary, very deep, very meaningful. And I think it's something we can all take away with us. We also work with foreign language composers to help arrange the songs written in English into 14 different languages that we represented on stage. 
One of the composers, Brian Hunter, was given the Irish Gaelic song to arrange between the master and I. After he arranged it into Gaelic, he sang a demo for us and was so touched that he wrote this message. This is just a beautiful song in Gaelic. If I had months, I would continue to work on my interpretation as a performer of it. It is a sweet and loving way to feel in those times when one is more aware of God's peaceful presence than others. It can also give a welcome reminder to many fast-paced lives that God is available to calm and soothe, at least while listening to this song. Wow. Master, we would like to know what inspired you to write the poetry anthology, Silent Tears. It's uh, just the empathy to human struggle to achieve the impossible. We all go through this. Saints, sinners, mortal, all alike. If you want to seek your true self, this is a struggle like that. So I feel all the humans feeling. I feel, I feel empathy with them. Yeah, yes, that's why I wrote it. It come from within. It come from my oneness with all human struggle and pain. Even the non practitioners, they also have moments of despair and the moment of need to turn inward, to pray to some power that they don't even know what, to pray to the God that maybe they not even believe. Always there is a struggle within the human's heart. So my poetry, The Silent Tears, is just the reflection of that. Okay? Yes, Master, thank you. And may we know when you wrote these beautiful poems, and was it India that you wrote them? No, no. In Taiwan. Uh, (laughs) It must have been like 30 years since, something like that. It was in the 80s, huh? Yeah. At that time, um, I was just beginning my little mission. (laughs) Just beginning a little bit in Taiwan. And we didn't have a lot of money then. I I grow like uh, sprouts, yeah, bean bean sprouts to sell, <laughs> to have some money. And uh, the disciple at that time, there's some uh, uh, monks and nuns who would just follow me like that, and we didn't have anywhere to live. And then and then suddenly there is a the house for rent. We call it snake house because it's full of snake. <laughs> Inside out, <laughs> sometimes we sleep and wake up, oh, there's a snake next to you. Be careful, don't roll over. <laughs> and sometimes they use the broom to remove him or her. And I told my people, please don't use the broom. You have to use some soft cloth or something, because if you use the broom, you might hurt his eyes. And they think I was very merciful, because They say, oh, Master, people, if they don't kill the snake, it's already very merciful. What worry about the eyes? (laughs) I say, no, if if you were the snake, you would be worried. So think yourself as the snake, so don't use a broom. Use something soft. And uh, the snakes never beat us or anything. They're just one with the floor. The floor is a black and white kind of pattern, you know? Yes, Master. Waving pattern. And the snake looks exactly just like that. So sometimes you don't even know if it's the floor pattern it is, or it is the snakes. <laughs> sometimes they come and sing in song to me or saying wow. thank you and all that. The snakes, they're very cute. But they could be very dangerous. I know this is a black and white snake i never seen it anywhere else. So the snake house is like that. and. We don't have much to do except Sunday, uh, some disciples come to group meditation and I talk a few words and, and then I grow my sprouts and <laughs> doing some knitting in order to sell. And uh, the monks and nuns there growing potatoes and stuff. And then we, we get by. We have a little box and we put all the money in there and whoever needs can use it, but we don't need much. So I'm just uh, having a little more leisure time. So I tune in with all the humans, and then that's how the poetry came into uh, manifestation, (laughs) into the book. 
I never thought that there would be a day when some of the greatest composers and some of the greatest artists would make them into a big world stage like America, such a, like a shine auditorium like that. It's not in a million years <laughs> I would dream about it. <laughs> Otherwise, maybe I would have polished it more, <laughs> make it more beautiful somehow, more elegant or something. I just wrote it the way I felt. It just come out quick and then that's how it is. Sometimes I didn't write it well, so I had to throw that piece away and rewrite it, but that's all. No correction, not much. I didn't write it well because we didn't have much money. and <laughs> So I have one of the pen that the, the students, like in Vietnam, used to use. Yes, I see. Cái viết bằng sắc gì đó, cái bằng gì hả? Cái viết thừa mà. Do you know how to call it? The pen that uh, the pointed at the end, and you have to dip it in the in, in the ink. We use it like 50, 60 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, instead of ball pen nowadays, we use that kind of uh, pen and put it in the ink. I had just happened to have it and dip it in the ink and write it one by one. And the the pen was too new, so it's very hard. That's why you can see my writing wasn't very excellent at all. It's not like calligraphy of any kind. I just wrote it for myself. Wrote it for myself, like a diary. And then one day, you know, the people, disciples, read it, and then they want it, and then they, they discover it, and they want to print some out of it. So it was copy the way I wrote it, and print it out the way I wrote it. By wow. copying, like, you know? Yes, Master. Like my writing. <laughs> so if you see the old copy, it's, uh, it is like a children writing. Because that kind of pen, the more you use it, the more subtle it becomes and the more you can write nicely. But the new pen is always too hard. Yes. So anyway, I, I couldn't bother because I never thought it's going to be for anybody, so I wrote it for myself. And then later they copy exactly how I wrote it, using copy style and then print it into some books and then give it to disciples and then later on we print it into, you know, stylist printer in, in the typing, not not in handwriting. So the old version is in the real handwriting, and the newer version is printed. That's where I wrote it and how I wrote it. Yes, Master. Happy? Yes, definitely. The poetry in that collection, every single verse is, is really beautiful, and it really strikes a chord. My God. It's really deep and meaningful. Thank you, oh, Master. I'm glad because... I never thought about it that way. I never yeah. thought anybody would even like it. All of my poems that has become music and so-called famous a little bit nowadays, I, I never ever thought that anybody would even... I never think of even anybody would even let eye on it, you know, even read it. Truly like that. And now, even nowadays, I'm still thinking, oh, they really put it into music. My God, you know? Yeah, and they all love it too, Master. They all love it. Yeah. The composers, the singers, the audience, everybody loves it. I, I still could hardly believe it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very, uh, you know, like uh, surprised. <laughs> I'm surprised. Still am surprised. Yes. I'm, I'm happy about it. Uh, I feel good about it, but I'm still thinking, oh, people like it, really? <laughs> <laughs> very <laughs> yes. much I still surprised. wonder why. Yes. Nobles televidentes, apreciamos su compañía en el episodio de hoy, titulado Vivir a la altura de los reales seres humanos, parte 4 de 7, en Entre la Maestra y los Discípulos. A continuación sigue series de varias partes sobre las antiguas predicciones acerca de nuestro planeta, profecías de la era dorada. Parte 18. Un tributo especial al Señor Jesucristo, el Príncipe de la Paz. Después de Noticias de Interés. Por favor, sigan sintonizados a Supreme Master Television para una programación más positiva. 
que Dios los envuelva para siempre con su amor puro y felicidad verdadera. May God forever surround you with pure love and true happiness. For more details and to check out our schedule for language availability, please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash bmd and suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. Pour plus d'informations et pour consulter le programme des langues disponibles, visitez suprememastertv.com bar oblique bmd et suprememastertv.com bar oblique schedule. لطفا برای اطلاعات بیشتر و اینکه در فهرست برنامه های من چه زبان هایی موجودند از این سایت ها دیدن فرمایید suprememastertv.com forward slash bmd و suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule